YouTube, this is Chris Kerbal Space Program X Series Flight Test. This will be the X6 airframe. Doing a little bit of more of experimenting with non conventional airplane parts. Uh, I did try to put those flat discs or flat plates on there, but uh, I guess in the physics they don't provide any lift. It's just not in there. Um, modeling or whatever uh, not in the code but uh, I did change it to structural wing parts and it is kind of a pain in the ass to get them to go where you want them to go so as you'll see I kind of moved parts around for quite a while to try to figure it out eventually I'll get a design and shockingly enough it actually flies and it's very responsive and you'll see that uh, I was completely shocked that it actually flew it wouldn't fly for long because there's only, uh, I think, one or two fuel tanks. But it did fly, oddly enough. And you will see how it flies, or how well or how not well. I almost landed too, which is, I never landed a space plane yet. I did, however, at this point forget to put control surfaces on the structural wing, so it wasn't going to fly no matter what I did. Uh, it just kind of wobbled and then finally broke up and someone died. So this is me rectifying that oversight. Alright, so here we go. We're powering this bad boy up and we're going to take off. Uh, it does still get a little wobbly, as you can see. Um, I managed to get it off the ground, and I kind of thought it would spaz out right as it got up to about this speed. I was very surprised that it actually handled well. It, it yawed, it pitched, and it rolled kind of nice. It still had a little bit of... Um, problem with pitch where it kind of just wanted to go up or down but not either easily it does turn pretty well for a cobbled together ship it's almost like a minmatar ship with probably some duct tape on there and plenty of rust to hold it all together but it is responsive it doesn't seem to want to go out of control either because I uh, I kind of put it as vertical as I could and it didn't flip over which is I have a tendency of making planes that flip over and as you can see um, rolling is it rolls easily it doesn't get out of control and it stops the roll rather easily as well it, it doesn't want to continue on and you know these these types of flights I don't even usually try to, to roll like that uh, to do a barrel roll or anything because the plane just goes completely out of control for me but I was surprised the way this thing handled, and uh, it's ugly, it's odd looking, and it works. And I almost was able to land this plane. I think maybe if the engines or the if the engines were out farther, I might have been okay because it would have been a more stable platform since the landing gear is on the nacelles themselves. But it is because the wheelbase was so narrow, uh, it did want to topple side to side when it was on the ground. If you touch the rudder at all, it'll um, it'll bounce left to right, left to right off the wheels. So here is um, my attempt to land and then I kind of just wanted to see if it still was going to remain in control and I wanted to turn a little bit and it just it seemed to go where I wanted it to go. I don't necessarily want it to go into the ground but that's where it went. <laughs> That's another story altogether. So, uh, watch as it lands and explodes. I thought it was fun. 